Hi everyone. Today we're going to be creating an interactive animal cell model. And by interactive, I mean when you click on these buttons, the organelle or the cell component explains what their role is inside of that animal cell. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And to do this project, we're going to be using Scratch. And if you're new to Scratch or if you need a refresher, please check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube. These will get you up to speed really quickly on how to code with Scratch. And I suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get to today's activity. So I'm at Scratch already. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating something brand new today. Uh, if a tutorial pops up, exit the tutorial. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click the garbage can. Goodbye, cat. And to get started, I'm going to go and get a cell. And so I'm going to go down to the sprites button, and there isn't actually a cell uh, in here, but I'm going to use the ball. And the ball that I want is going to be the blue costume of the ball, the blue one there. Except one problem, an animal cell isn't perfectly round like this. So I'm just going to modify it a little bit. Look how I'm going to do that. I'm going to click this arrow. I don't know if we've done that in any of the other activities. Watch, I'm going to click this arrow. And now I'm just going to go and click on some of these arrows and I can change the shape of the ball by using these. So I'm just going to modify it a little bit, make it seem a little bit not so perfectly round. Something like that. That's going to be my cell right there. I'm done. Okay, so there's that. However, it's way too small. So right now it's 100%. You can see there, I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Maybe let's try 300%. No, that's not big enough. I'm going to try 500%. There, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to center that. So there is my animal cell. It's blue and I've um, enlarged it to 500%. Next, what I want to do is to get another ball. Uh, this time it's going to be a green ball. It's going to be the nucleus of this cell. So I'm going to go to the sprites button. I'm going to choose ball again. This time I want the costume to be green. That's going to be my nucleus. I'm just going to move it kind of co closer to the center like that. So there's the nucleus. I'm also going to get a button. And uh, then I'm going to write on the button Nucleus. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go down to the sprites. I'm going to find button. There's a few different ones for you to choose from. I like this one. So I'm going to choose this one. You can choose either of the buttons that you like. And I'm going to write on here Nucleus. Watch how I do that. So I'm on the button right now. I'm going to go to Costumes. I'm going to go for T to tech, for T to text. I'm going to choose a color that I like for my text. Maybe this one will be a nice bright red. No, I'm going to make it green since the nucleus is green. You don't have to coordinate quite like that. That's all right, but I'm going to just for this example. And I'm going to write in here, nucleus. Oops, should spell it right. Nucleus right there. You can choose the colors you want. I'm going to just move it down a little bit like that. I'm also going to change the backdrop color because right now I don't like the gray. It's kind of boring. So I'm going to choose a nice color that goes with green, maybe a nice yellow. We'll see how that works like that. So there's my nucleus button. There's my green nucleus and there's my animal cell right there. Before I continue, I'm just going to write a few titles. I'm going to write down the words animal cell model. I'm going to write down organelles and I'm going to write down cell components. And so you can take a peek here at my original project. I wrote down animal cell model. I wrote down organelles and I wrote cell components. You'll notice that there's three organelles. I got the nucleus, mitochondria and vacuole. Those are my three organelles. And for cell components, I got cytoplasm and cell membrane. Those are my two cell components. But for now, we're just going to write down animal cell model, organelles, and cell components. So I'm just going to pause while everybody finishes with their nucleus button, their nucleus, their animal cell, and they're going to write down the words animal cell model, organelles, and cell components. And when you're all done, uh, I'll be ready for you for the next part. Okay, I've done my titles. I wrote animal cell model, and I did that by clicking on the sprites button and, and using the paintbrush. I wrote the word animal cell model. I also wrote organelles, and I wrote cell components. Before we continue, let's just figure out how we're going to work the button and the nucleus together, because we haven't done that much in the past. So what you're going to do, I'm going to use this cool feature. So when I click on this button, it's going to yell a message to the nucleus over here. It's going to broadcast a message. It's going to yell really loudly something like, NUCLEUS! 
And then when the nucleus hears the message, it's going to say something. Watch how I do that. It's a cool feature. So I'm going to go to the nucleus. So right there. I'm on this one right now. We haven't coded anything yet. I'm on the nucleus sprite. Um, when this sprite is clicked, let me make this a bit bigger for you working at home or at school so you can see this. When someone clicks on this sprite, see, when this sprite is clicked, it's going to broadcast a message. It's going to yell out a message. And I'm going to name the message something like um, uh, nucleus. That'll be easy. Nucleus. Okay. So when someone clicks on this sprite, the computer yells, Nucleus! Of course you can't hear it because it's a computer. It doesn't silently. But it's yelling Nucleus every time you click this. That's all the coding we need to do for this one. It's easy. When the sprite is clicked, when you click this, it yells Nucleus. Now let's go to the Nucleus. So there's the Nucleus sprite. When I receive the message Nucleus, when I hear Nucleus, then you're going to say something. Watch. So I'm going to go to the Looks button, and I'm going to grab Say. And he's not going to say hello. He's going to say, I am the Nucleus for two seconds. So that's his, that's his name. I'm the Nucleus. Now he's going to say what his job is. So my job is to control the activity of the cell and house the DNA and of course nobody can read that in two seconds so I'm gonna make that for five seconds right there I'll just make this a bit smaller again okay so that part is done look when someone clicks on the nucleus when someone clicks on this sprite it yells nucleus when the nucleus hears the message nucleus he says, I'm the nucleus, and my job is to control the activity cell and house the DNA. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. Okay, look, I'm going to click on this, and now it's talking over there. It's a great way to connect sprites. It's a fantastic and very powerful piece of code, and it's very simple once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to pause and let you do this one piece of code. When the sprite is clicked, broadcast nucleus. When he receives nucleus, Say your name and the job. So I'm going to leave that for now. You can go back and forth between these two and hopefully get the hang of it really quickly. I'm sure you will. So I'm going to pause here and when you're ready to go to the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right. Now, hey, if you can get the hang of this broadcasting messages and receiving messages um, like I'm sure you have for Nucleus, then the rest of this project is pretty easy. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create some more buttons and some more sprites. So now you're going to create a mitochondria button. You're going to create a vacuole button. Those are all organelles. You're going to create cytoplasm button and a cell membrane button. And those are the cell components. So just five buttons. So I've already done those here. You can see on my example, I've got my five buttons here. And then anytime you click one of them, you should have uh, a component of the cell say what their job is. Remember, I click nucleus and nucleus says, I'm the nucleus. My job is to control the activity of the DNA uh, of the cell and, and store the DNA. So for the mitochondria, I got a bread sprite because it kind of looks like that. So I got a little bread sprite and I made it really small and put it in a cell. And so it broadcasts mitochondria and it says its job. For vacuole, I couldn't find something that worked, so I drew one. So I went to the sprites, I went to the paintbrush, and I kind of drew this shape here. And it's the vacuole. And the vacuole's job is to store chemicals for later use or disposal. So that's the role of the vacuole. Look what I did for cytoplasm. Um, the cytoplasm is the blue stuff inside the cell right there. And so when you click on cytoplasm, an arrow appears. And the arrow says, the cytoplasm, the cytoplasm is the jello-like liquid that fills the inside of a cell. So that's how I did cytoplasm. I got an arrow. And for cell membrane, I also got an arrow. And for this arrow, it says, the membrane's job is to allow molecules to enter and exit the cell. And that's what you do for this one. I also got a nice color backdrop. This is the simple uh, blue backdrop, so it looks a little bit better. So, hey, the rest of the project, it's up to you to make some more buttons and to use this uh, feature of broadcasting a message and receiving a message.
And when that's all done, show your teacher and I'm sure they'll be very pleased with your work. Hey, I've got another challenge for you. Once you're done the animal cell, make a plant cell model. So you've got the animal cell done, also do a plant cell. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that one and that you got the hang of this broadcasting and receiving messages. It's a powerful, powerful tool. And I look forward to seeing you at another activity. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day.